So this has been painted. You then go over it with wet and dry. What grit are you using? 2,000 grit. Just to take off any little nodules yes. or any orange yeah. peeling or yeah. anything like that. Yep. Yeah. And then what happens after you've... Once you've done that, done that, you use... How many coats of paint do they put on? One, two... Uh, this would have had three coats of paint. Three coats. So this... And you use a, an M3. 3M, yeah. Uh, nice. And then a... This is a polished polisher. This side has been polished and you can pretty much see your face in that. And then what's this for? Is this the... This is the polish to take any, to take all the marks of that out. Okay, gotcha. So that goes on first. Yeah. And then you put the 3M polish on. Yeah. And what's the difference between this job and your normal 200 pound spray job? I think it speaks for itself. <laughs> All the doors are off, the bonnet's been taken back down to bare metal, the boot lid's been taken to bare metal, the rear valance has had all the stone chip and chips knocked out of it. Everything's come off the car basically to do the um seals, to do the the sills are back to their former glory and um to get a job of this quality just takes time and commitment to do it. It's a painstaking job but when it's finished it's going to look amazing the bonnet's just been back to bare metal primed reprimed sanded back primed and if your body shop still talks to you after a job like this you're very lucky because invariably they never earn any money out of these big jobs because they always go on an awful lot longer and take an awful lot longer than anybody ever thinks but this car after this has been polished We'll come out of the paint spray booth and then all the doors, bonnets and everything else will be down. So it's been a long job, not cheap at all, but there is light at the end of the tunnel.